guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm on my way to the velodrome today. Uh, this weekend, uh, there's a race, it's a race weekend happening. Yesterday, there were a bunch of races, but I was not in Brno. I was out and about. And now I'm going there to see what the pros are doing. Eric came from Prague and also i don't know if you guys remember a very long time ago i had it i went to the velodrome and i had this professional guy thomas Babak in the vlog for a quick second he is an olympic level racer who now has a training academy to teach people how to ride in the velodrome and yesterday was his farewell to professional racing unfortunately i wasn't here to film it but maybe he'll be there as well we can see some of the races i'm gonna check all the bikes so it's a beautiful day out today i hope you enjoy let's go did all this section of the asphalt all the way from uh, where I was talking last it's such a good feeling to ride brand new smooth asphalt the next thing I need. I need a roller to, to practice at home. Yeah. Someone just sat the new track record right now. Sophie Keppelow. Wow, there are a lot of really, really cool bikes here. I saw the Lotus. I'm gonna try to get a bit more of a close up on it, but really, really cool stuff. Some big crews with some really cool rigs. I see like a little, uh, it looks like this camper, the trailer, the teardrop style, but like a mini. That is their team mechanic stuff I'm gonna show you guys later but I'm just taking a look around and then uh, some race is about to start let's go see what it is guys passed now the guy who's carrying the bike had a mechanical the carbon exploded it's I can see like swell on one side and it was making a noise but I was taking a series of pictures so um, unfortunately not in the video but 
Too bad, tough luck. Shit happens. There'll be more races. Right, I wanted to have a little break. Get something to drink, something to eat. But they don't take card, so I need to find an ATM to redraw some cash. And be right back. Well, of course, I cannot find an ATM. I have no idea what this one. Well, this can give me an excuse to ride a bit. I'm not sure, but I think uh, as I was leaving, I saw Paola, uh, winner of Last Woman Standing race, uh, coming in. So I wonder if that was really her. Uh, check out when I come back, see what she's riding this time. Some of these guys raced yesterday, some races, and today again. It's a level of commitment, athleticism. Is that a word? I don't know. You know, being an athlete. Really cool event. This happens every year. It's free to watch. Can you believe we just come here to the velodrome and it's free to watch event? Doors are open. Just come in. There's food. There's drinks. There's not as many people wish there would be, of course, but hey, people from around the world are coming to race. It's a nice event. Big cheers to Bernal. This velodrome will be taken down, but Bernal will build a new one indoors wooden velodrome. I don't really know how I feel about that because this is an old classic with so much history and the biggest thing for me is that this velodrome being an old open doors concrete velodrome it allows for new riders to come in here easily right the bank is not that steep it's a very good way to learn how to ride a track and the wooden velodrome first of all already to ride in wooden velodrome you always have to have you know like tubeless tires or whatever and this and that and normally the bank is super steep so it's harder it's more difficult and this is such a beautiful place. Look at this. This is the city. And if I was on the other side, you would see on top of me behind like mountain and wood and forest. It's very cool, very nice place to be. So we gotta enjoy it while we have it. But they're gonna there's there's a project to build a new indoor which is amazing because it might bring even more to this sport than what these can aff afford to bring right because uh, 
not every team wants to come travel to Brno for these kind of events, but if we have a, this is a UCI event, by the way. This is UCI, it's in the UCI calendar. I guess that's why you see so many international teams coming here to whatever the points. I don't know how UCI works, I don't care. But probably the newer velodrome will bring even more because, you know, indoors, wooden, more up to date. I just wish my romantic cyclist just wish that we didn't have to tear this down. So, well, let's enjoy it while we have it. I have no idea if it's going to be next year, year after that, in five or ten years. But it's not going to be here forever. So, hope you guys enjoy our velodrome here, but no. going on now. I think it's the last one. I don't know. Oh, there's another one still. But then medicine is going on now. This is a fast race. Like this is the last race. It's the girls racing. They're going fast. Everybody's going fast, of course, but they're going fast. But I need to get some food and get out of the sun because it's freaking hot. It's 31 degrees. Stayed back to say goodbye to Eric and the guys left for beer and I was gonna meet them now but guess what happened I got a flat tire and I don't have any tools so I'm gonna push the bike home I hope you guys enjoy it was a very fucking cool day I'll see you in the next one take care visualize seeing yourself as yeah, I would visualize, uh, yeah, I would visualize.